Welcome to another episode of Coffee with Clara Rose. I am, of course, Clara Rose. Today, I want to jump right into something that's been requested so many times. But first, I want to say hello. If you are brand new, you haven't been with us before, every week I like to bring some information, either uh, something educational or a guest or a, a trick or a tool or a tip, something to help you learn to be a more savvy entrepreneur or business owner, whatever it is that you do to earn a living, your, your vocation. If you are here for the very first time, let me be the first to say welcome. And of course, if you've been here before, welcome back, my friend. This is really about you. If you have been in my email box or on my Facebook page or wherever you connect with me requesting this topic, this is for you, my friend. Okay, this is the number one requested educational thing that comes into my inbox for some reason. And you may or may not be aware of this, but it's kind of a newer thing, the one-page website. So all the gurus out there, experts are talking about the power of the one-page website or what they used to call the landing page. They really are kind of the same thing. So instead of having a website where people go to the website and there's a bunch of links, that they have to navigate through to find the information. Everything lives on a single page. It's a very focused look at what it is that you're trying to teach them or sell them or sign them up for, whatever it is. So the landing page usually is very singularly focused. You're selling one item, one service, one whatever it is. A single page web page is all about your business, ministry, cause, or brand but all on one page. Occasionally, you will see some links across the top that look like the old-fashioned website, but if you click on one of those, it really just takes you farther down on that very same page. You could just scroll through it. As an example, one of my websites is done as a single page. I may even find it and show it to you as we're going along today. I don't have any navigation on it. I could have navigation, but I don't because people can just scroll from top to bottom, and I like the way that it has rolled out and the way that it looks. So I haven't bothered to add navigation. If you like a more traditional look and you want the navigation buttons, it of course is always an option. You can add those, and it just jumps people to wherever on the page they want the information, wherever that is that it lives, that they can get to it quickly. There's a lot, of course, people out there talking about how important it is to have certain things above the fold, like your phone number. And that just means when they land on your website, whether it's an old-fashioned website, or it's a one-page website, or it's a landing page, anything that shows up on the screen and you don't have to scroll to it, that's above the fold. So important things to have above the fold are who you are, start with, right? Tell them who you are, have a nice graphic, and then your phone number or how they can best connect with you. That way, somebody who is only looking for your phone number how, or your email, how to reach you, they can do it without scrolling down or clicking through a bunch of different links to get to the page that tells them how to get a hold of you. So get that phone number on the first page above the fold. It's going to increase those that those people that are coming to your website, increase the number of people who actually connect with you. Okay, so why is it that you are asking me, a editor, publisher, writer, why are you asking me about single page websites? Well, I think it's because I teach a lot in Canva. Now recently I've done a few Canva episodes for you where I talked about, number one, using it to create for your social media, so posts, created in Canva. And then we talked about book covers because of course, you know, if you know me at all, my heart is, that's near and dear to my heart, the whole book writing thing. And so we went through how to create a cover for your book in Canva. And then of course, we've talked about a couple other things in Canva, but people keep saying, Clara, talk about websites in Canva. And while it's new this year, it is the coolest one page website builder that I have found so far. And I have built probably three or four off of it so far. Here's the beautiful thing. The, there's no hosting fee. If you have a Canva Pro account, which I do, 
and I recommend that you do as well because it's so inexpensive to have. Like $15 a month and you can have the pro account. And I, we've talked about that before on this show that you get some cool features when you have the pro account. Like your brand colors are always built in. Your brand font is always built in. So when you start something new, your fonts and colors default to your brand. So you're not having to change colors specifically to match your brand, which of course is super important for consistency in your brand identity. So today, the long-awaited how to build a one page in website in Canva. So before we run out of time with me yammering on, let's dive right in. All right, I have it pulled up here and I'm going to just start at the very beginning at the top of the page. You can see here some of the different options that I have. I'm gonna go over to websites and I'm gonna click website. Now this is gonna take me to a page where I have some options to choose from different kinds of templates. You can always build from scratch once you become super comfortable in Canva. That is always an option. But the templates are beautiful because they are professionally designed. So they are aesthetically pleasing already. So half the work is already done for you. So then you're just gonna scroll through your templates and see what kind of website you're trying to build. So you can just go see all of them with the little see all button. You could go to business websites if it's specifically for business. Portfolio, so these of course are ones you know, that are gonna be graphic or picture heavy. If you're a photographer or something of that nature, it's gonna be graphic heavy, just start with one that already is graphic heavy. Or event websites. If you know it's this is just gonna be about an upcoming event, start with something that's already designed to take some of the work out of it for you. I'm gonna assume that you're gonna to go to a business website as an option, so I'm gonna click on the See all for business websites. And it's going to let me look at a whole bunch of options. Before I go scrolling though, let me bring your attention to the upper left here where it says style, theme, features, colors. You can narrow down your search if you want to pick something that already has colors or features or a specific theme or style you already like in Canva. We're just going to scroll down today and just grab one that looks decent. I wanna bring two things to your attention as you're looking at these. If you roll over with your mouse, you notice that some of them move, right? It's gonna show you what this website is going to do when you choose it. Some of them, however, when you roll over them, nothing happens or a slideshow happens. You can see this in my middle, middle of the screen here. It says we're on seven, eight of 23. That means this website is already built out for you with 23 different pages. Now that doesn't mean you have to keep all those pages. Remember, this is all on one page technically, so they're not really different pages, but they're considered pages when you're looking at them like this. I'm just gonna click on this because this is gonna give me some other things to talk with you about. All right, when I pulled it up, I can either grab it and customize it, or it says, hey, Here's some more that are kind of like this, if you prefer them. But we're gonna say customize this template, because that's the one that caught my attention. And it's gonna bring up all 23, what they call pages. But really, if you just scroll down, it's 23 of these pages. Now this one's very long and very dense <laughs> with pictures, and probably not at all, a business website that I would ever use for anything. But I wanted you to see what that option looked like if we did that. And just pop back over to the other tab. You'll notice that Canva opened up a whole new tab for you. So if you're like, ma'am, I don't love this one. Let's just go back, X out of that, and we're back to where we were, All right? Let's find a different one that doesn't have 23 black and white pages, which just are not gonna be a good fit anyway. So let's grab something that does have some pages because those to me are the easiest ones. And this one looks like it's about coffee. I'm gonna grab something that catches my attention. This one makes me happy, I love orange. If you know me at all, you know that I love orange. So let's customize this template. And here we go. Phases and Spaces Inc. So this is of course an imaginary company, but I love anything about design, so this one, Makes me happy, just right here. 
um, you will notice that on the left, that a whole bunch of other things loaded. And these are some of the same results you were just looking at. So if, as you scroll through this one, you're like, man, this isn't what I thought it was going to look like. This doesn't make me happy. You could come over here and grab a different one. You notice when you hover over it, it does the little slideshow thing again. So you don't have to actually click into it and make the change in order to see what it is that it does. If you do click on it, it's going to show you what kinds of options are available. Here's the five pages. You can apply all five pages or you could just choose the ones that you'd like to apply. As you scroll down, you'll notice it also gave you the colors. So these are the colors and the fonts that are embedded in this design that you could choose. We are not going to choose it because I like the orange one that we already have. All right, so let's talk about, let's scroll down and look at all the cool stuff you have. Let's talk about the power of the one page website. So this is really a place where Someone can get, I'm guessing spaces, phases and spaces is probably a design company. Let's see. We believe everyone deserves a space meant solely for them. Claim yours with our community of trusted brokers and diverse range of properties. Okay, so these might even be realtors that this is created for. Uh, bright and airy two-story townhome. Okay, I'm guessing this could even be a planned community, right? And they're trying to, to sell you on a, a townhome. So let's look at this first one here. I want to point out that everything here is an item. Right? If we clicked on this, see how it opens up this bar up front. Here's the font they used. Here's the size of the font. It's bolded and it is left justified in this space. If I double click into it, I of course can change it to say whatever it is that my business is. So let's call this... Um, Larry Lane Designs. All right. Okay, so customizing that piece. You'll also notice that this has an image and a text box together. Really, that just is that they've been linked together, grouped together. By design and you can actually get rid of part of it if you're interested in getting rid of part of it. If I can hit the right button here. There we go. That of course wouldn't fit my design, Claire Lane design, so here we go. Notice as I hover over and I move this that a little line pops up. That means that I'm centered on this what they call page. If I go back and forth, ah there's another line popping up. Now I know that I've centered that completely on this page. Makes me happy because I'm very spatial. You can also come over here and say, let's make this puppy bigger. And I may have messed up my, my centering. Maybe back to center. There's center again. Okay. And then, of course, if I want to drop in something else on this particular page, let's say I just said it, so I better do what I say. And let's put my phone number on the very first page. All right, it's going to go. So, mm -hmm. All right, company phone number. So now if somebody pops on this page, they can go, oh, I can get a hold of Claire Lane Designs by calling that phone number. And what if I want to also stay really true to my brand and pop over to my, hmm, I can find my logo in this mess. There it is. Let's just resize it, move it around. Now you can't really see my, my standard logo very well because it's a colored background and it's a colored logo. So I could try my white version. Yes, that makes me much happier. Let's get rid of that one right there. That makes me happier. Super simple, move it around. You'll notice that as I move this up and down and around, a little box opens up. So I could spatially put it right there, and I know that it's spatially exactly opposite of this. Yeah, that one is over in that corner. They don't really like how that fits on the picture, so I'm not going to use their recommendation. I'm going to put it where spatially feels good to me. And you can do the same. So this is super simple. 
um, manipulation of the very first page. If this, if you had a picture that you liked better than this background picture, let's double click on it. See how this is a picture itself and I can manipulate it, move it up and down, move it around. I could crop it if I want. I say, okay, I'm done. That's where I like it. Or you can totally replace it with a different image that you either upload yourself over in your upload file right here. Click upload, select upload an image or video. You can pull anything directly from your laptop or your desktop and use as a picture there. You can of course also go into elements and look for a picture that you like. So let's say flowers, do a search for flowers. Um, not videos, not graphics, photos. There we go. There's some photo backgrounds of flowers. So if I didn't like what I had, I could go searching and Canva has hundreds, if not thousands of background options that you could choose from. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit to what they consider the next page. So see where we have the break there? I want to point out these little arrows to your left. If perhaps the placement of this particular page, shall we call it, wasn't in the right spot, I could move it up or I could move it down to a different place on this long page. If I move it down, boop, now it lives below whatever was there. Now, I'm gonna move it back up. See how easy it is to just move things around and manipulate things? That's super important when you're building this out. If you want to build something quickly, that's aesthetically pleasing. I wouldn't go, unless you're super spatial as a person and you have a good eye for it, I wouldn't go moving stuff a lot. Once you kind of mess up the main layout, the main design, um, it can feel a little, a little off or wonky. Um, I mean, feel free to play with it as much as you'd like, but just know this is already placed in a, in a way that's supposed to be um, graphically pleasing. So all of this, of course, is stuff I could click on and change. This picture I could click on and change to something else. The content over here, notice that this, this is a super big pet peeve for me. This is left justified, which means all of the text lines up on the left, which I think looks very sloppy and messy personally. And that's probably the editor in me, the formatting publishing side of my life that makes me weird about that. See this little alignment button up here? We can make it centered, which sometimes works spatially. Uh, right justified rarely works unless you're, uh, well, sometimes it works. You, you'll see. And then justified. That just means everything fits perfectly all the way across. Sometimes I have to like manipulate the box so that it still looks good to me. And then maybe you know, I want this to be a little more centered so that it looks spatially right to me. Okay. Scrolling down. You notice that all... We have orange here and orange background here. I might be inclined to go on this particular page and change the background to a different color just because that's a lot of orange. And I love orange, but that's a lot of orange. So I could go into these boxes right here and I can go in and change my border weight, what the border looks like. I can also go into shapes and change to a different shape if I thought I wanted it to be an oval perhaps instead of a box. And then you can go to this little box here, which is color, and you can just change out your, your text color on it. That did not change. Well, that was frustrating. There. Nope, I wanna back into my color, change. Sometimes it'll let you change the whole kit and caboodle at one time. It's not letting me, just kind of annoying to me. Nope, that's not it either. It's not letting me do what I want to do. Border color. Eh, see, it helps if you click the right button. There we go. All right, I'm just showing you this because I want to change the background color. And it's going to disappear if we don't do something with it. All right, background color. Let's go from orange. I think I'm going to go to a lighter color. I see all my white stuff disappeared over here, but I like it better as a secondary color there. For now, I'm going to undo this little button right here, undo, to put it back so that I could see these others. 
And then of course, I don't want to waste your time by you sitting watching me click and change colors, but it isn't all that time consuming to change that out. I do want to point out that again, they have not justified their text, which I think looks terrible. So I'm gonna fix that. Maybe I'll center it. It's all about finding what feels right and looks balanced on the page. Okay, what else can I teach you whilst I'm here? There's another orange and then orange. So we definitely want to change this background. Featured listings. Ah, they are selling us, a t trying to sell us something here. So they have a um, three bedroom, two bath. They have an office space. So now we know that these, this is somebody, a, a real estate agent or company trying to sell us something in particular. If we are not a real estate agent ourselves, but we love the design, we love the color scheme, just change this to say something else, right? Maybe this is uh, recent projects. So this could be recent projects. Projects. I can just go back in down here, change this text, change this text so that it doesn't say uh, a, a residence there. Change out the picture to be relevant to whatever it is you're trying to sell them, whatever service, whatever, whatever it is that you offer in your business. Now here's something that's interesting that we haven't seen. Up here they're like placeholders, but down here, these are actual buttons where they want you to people to be able to click on the button and buy, sell, rent, whatever, right? So what you're gonna do is this little guy will let you link to anything, any other page on the internet, right? So if you have pages, a page to buy something, you have a shopping cart set up, you can link this one to your shopping cart, right? This right here, see the little, when you highlight it, you get the little link, it pops up, you just drop in whatever link you're trying to get them to, and when they click on that button, that's where it'll take them to. Of course, all of this, all this picture, all this text, completely customizable by you for your own message. And then we make it to the bottom page. So this is where they have connected their how to get a hold of them, of course, their hours. You're gonna drop in your own logo, your own company name, things of that nature. And then at the very bottom, these super, super important little icons. Now, if you are not on Instagram or Twitter, let's say a lot of people are on our Twitter, so I'm just going to, first we're gonna ungroup them because they're all together there, ungroup, then I'm gonna delete. Now Twitter doesn't live there anymore. You could of course add, just by doing a search, you could add um, Pinterest or LinkedIn, whatever kinds of icons you wanted to add to that line back up. This works in the exact same way as the other linking where you can just, oops, I'm fast, I wanted to do, where you can link this to your Facebook page so people can actually click on it and go over to your Facebook page. It's a great way to use your one page website. It's kind of a hub for all things. All of uh, sending people to one space that you control is super important, right? We don't have any control over what Facebook does or LinkedIn does or you know, any place else on the internet that we don't own, we don't control that. Tomorrow, your Facebook page could go into jail, right? If you've ever been in Facebook jail, you know what I'm talking about. They didn't like something you said or a picture you post and you're in jail, you don't have access anymore or they literally can delete your page and it can be gone forever. So be sure that you're not sending people to a Facebook page or a LinkedIn page, someplace that you don't have control over as your primary place that you send people. Okay, so say we are completely done building this out, which of course in 30 minutes, there's no way to do that. But when you're completely done, look at this button on the upper right hand corner that says publish website. We're just gonna click on this and it freezes what's going on in your design while you work on it. They will give you a free domain if you'd like. I never recommend using a free domain. I think you should always own your domain. You could purchase, buy a domain through them, or I always buy my domain names in one spot where I control all of them in one place. And so I just use my existing domain. So we click on use my existing domain. See this little button right here without navigation? That's what we're looking at right now. 
I could say with navigation and each one of those represented pages is going to become a link so that you have a more traditional looking website that has navigation across the top. I'm going to say without because I prefer that. Use my existing and continue. Then it's just going to let me pick a domain name to add. Either one that already lives in my domains or I can add a brand new domain name. And then click on it and it will I'm not going to do this today because I don't have one to connect to this, but it will connect with, for instance, mine are hosted at GoDaddy. It'll connect to GoDaddy, verify I am the owner of both accounts, and voila, my website will be live. Super simple. I don't pay for monthly hosting for it, and I can build as many, an unlimited number of websites on Canva because I have the pro account. Okay, I clicked out of it because we're truly not going to put this up. It means nothing, and it's not even pretty yet. Okay, so that so wasn't that super simple? Quick and easy, right? You could spend an afternoon just gathering your data, getting it into Canva, pick a design, pull it together, and in a single afternoon, you could have a website live for your business, ministry, cause, or brand. Of course, you can use it to just sell your book or promote your book if you have a new book to put out. Whatever it is that you're trying to put out into the world, you literally use it as a landing page, just like you would do a landing page with one of the other services. The only difference is right here, you're going to have to hook up a, a cart to it. This is a great place to talk about who you are and what you do without having to lay out a lot of cash for a, a fancy traditional website or a fancy traditional um, landing page being built for you or knowing coding, right? Who knows coding these days? All right, I am totally out of time. I hope that gave you enough information that you feel comfortable jumping into Canva and trying it out for yourself. And of course, as always, thank you for being here every week to support me. I will see you same time next week, same place. Take care.